Today we're talking about Siv Gaoriole, a headphone priced at 199 US dollars, which is just one dollar less than I promised to make video reviews. But I liked it quite a lot and I felt the need to share my discovery of the Siv Gaoriole with you. This is a dynamic driver based headphone with a 50 millimeter dynamic driver and uh, it has this beautiful color and aesthetic. I, I have to give it to them. They know how to make a beautiful headphone. What is special about them and why would you grab it instead of many of the other options around the 200 US dollars price point? Steve Gaoriole. I expected it to be much more colorful given the name. Oriole, I thought it would be like rainbow colored. It has some kind of rainbow resonance. In Romania, it has an outstanding construction, no creaking, no weird noises. It can twist and turn in every direction possible. It has detachable cables based on 2.5 millimeter single-ended connectors. You can get aftermarket cables, not that you would want to get aftermarket cables for a headphone that costs just 200 US dollars. It has a strong amount of ventilation at the top, which means that it will leak quite a bit and it doesn't isolate you perfectly from the outside noise. On the other hand, you can adjust it in every direction. It has a metallic adjusting mechanism, which is very resistant and very well made. They have thick ear pads and there is enough space inside the ear pad for my ears. I never felt them like they were on ear. They always felt over the ear. Appreciate that. It just looks so beautiful, like this wooden design, like why can't expensive headphones be so beautiful? I always suffer from this. Why must expensive headphones always have very industrial aesthetics to them? Like this is how they should make headphones look like. It's so beautiful. The brown color, everything about them is just spectacular. The cable is pretty long, about two meters in length. It is also very flexible. They are ended in a 3.5 millimeter connector. And if I'm not mistaken, there is a 3.5 to 6.35 millimeter adapter in the package, but you must probably have one of those around the house. So the most important part about the Sivga Oriole, the sound. With a 50 millimeter dynamic driver, I was expecting a dark kind of bloated sound because let's be honest, this is what you typically get around 200 US dollars, but nah, nah, nah. They are sweet sounding. They are somewhat V-shaped with a strong bass, a slightly recessed mid-range and a stronger treble. They have an amazing amount of resolution, detail, and they are just enjoyable to listen to. They are very precise, very good control over distortion, very good control over timings. Everything is just enjoyable out of them. They are somewhat hard to drive in person. And I've been using the Hibi RS2 and uh, I actually took it as high as about 75 of volume to get a satisfying volume out of the Civ Gaoriole, which means that they will be quite hard to drive out of entry level portables. You will need a DAX headphone amplifier, most probably a desktop one or at least a strong portable one. They are pretty light, so they will be very good to wear and very good to use, even portably. And they are one of my favorite entry level headphones now. What are you gonna do about that? Well, you should probably take my advice. If you are looking for a headphone that is entry level in pricing, but has really, really good sound, is V-shaped and will be enjoyable for most people who are looking at entry level products, the Civ Gaoriole should be it. It has one of those audiophile sounds where it doesn't have a lot of bass. And if you are looking for a headphone that is extremely bright or has a very specific dark sound, if you are looking for something like school candy, but heavier, this won't be for you. They don't have more bass than school candies. There are headphones that have a lot of bass. Siv Gaoriole is not one of them. Those are the type of headphones that you would present to your family if they were your girlfriend or something like that. They have a very family friendly sound. They are enjoyable with rock, metal. They bring detail out in everything. They bring the sound stage forward. The sound stage is not very large. It is a more intimate presentation, but it has good width and a good overall sparkliness of the treble. They are enjoyable with pretty much every single music style, but with rock, metal, EDM, electronic, and most commercial music, they really excel in resolution and detail and in sparkliness. I, I just find them enjoyable. It is not the priciest headphone from Sevga Audio or from Sandy Audio. They are partner companies and they are pretty much led by the same people, but I think that they are very enjoyable. They are more enjoyable than most headphones at 200 US dollars. At around this price point, you typically find the 
Bluetooth headphones or headphones that don't have as much detail and resolution as this Yves Gaudiole. This video review has been done before I did the full written review, so this is more of a first impressions, early impressions video review, and I will most definitely post it after the full written review. So it will be interesting for you to see how my impressions changed. This is me being enthusiastic at the beginning and we'll see how I feel after I've listened a bit to them and after I had the time to make the full written review. At any rate, I don't think my enthusiasm about them will change. Probably I will discover some flaws in them, because this is what you typically do after spending some time with something, but I don't think I will unrecommend them. I think they will stay a recommended pair of headphones. Right now they are, they are really recommended. As far as I can tell, the earpads are not detachable, so pulling on them doesn't really detach them. I can't really modify the shape and such, so I don't know how you are supposed to replace them. If they are glued, I don't want to keep <laughs> pulling them apart, it would destroy them. The adjusting mechanisms offer me outstanding comfort. And to be honest, I would worry more about the people around you, as they leak a bit, then I would worry about me hearing something. After placing them on, I can barely hear my voice. So they offer a good amount of passive noise isolation. If you want to go for Steve Gaudiole, I think that you would be quite pleased to hear that they are available virtually everywhere, Amazon, even some local shops, Music Air, they should be available on Toman too soon. So they have very wide availability. Companies took interest in them. They noticed that Sivga makes good sounding headphones and for a very fair pricing. And that brought us all together today. If you want a pair of headphones that sound outstanding, that have outstanding looks, I mean, just look at this. You could find a girlfriend if you wore those in public. Like, my girlfriend really loves the aesthetics of them. But we are in winter in Romania, so it is too cold for us to take b-rolls and photo shoots outdoors. So most of the images in the full written review and most of the video b-rolls will probably have been taken indoors. Speaking of which, I think that I will try to improve my video quality further, so please Give me advice. If you know how I could improve my videos, how I could make them more enjoyable, please write your opinion in the comments. Also, tell me how to give you better content, what to review next. I hope you have a lovely week in there and don't forget, like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely week out there. Bye-bye.